everyone, it is me, Ian Robotics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make complex shapes in Tinkercad. Complex shapes with basic shapes. Complex shapes with basic shapes. Right. Okay. Well, let's get started. I will not hesitate, I will get right into the video. Right here, let's get started. So, first of all, I'm going to go through a couple of things that you can use to make complex shapes like wind turbine, wind turbine designs, uh, like weird organic type shapes that you can use to make really cool things in Tinkercad. So, one of the, uh, one tool, there's a, it's, you probably won't find it that often when scrolling through here, because it's kind of tucked away, but um, I scrolled through and I found uh, an ex um, I found a, spe a special shape that you could transform and you can change it. So, um, a good thing to note is um, once you find a really good shape, you can favorite it. So I favorited my extrusion. This is the shape. So you may or may not have already seen this already. So I'm going to go in and show you the shape. So I'll drag this over here and I'll show you what it can do. So when you bring it up, it has uh, it has this kind of like diagram on the right hand side. So this you can make shapes with this. So if I want to make, uh, I don't know, do I want to make? I try and make like a, a twisted curve. So if I wanted to make a twisted curve, I could kind of like try to do this down here like that. Move this like that. There, kind of get it in. So eventually, you're getting that kind of shape that you want. Like you can transform it and you can change it around, and eventually you get a pretty cool and easy shape. So this isn't really a twisted curve, but it's kind of the same, I guess. So um, this is it. This is the shape. You can change it around. You can obviously do this multiple times. You can go back and change it multiple times when you really want to. So you can go back and change it again, make it different. So if you need it a little bit like that and a little bit like that, but you need to change this like that to make it more leverage. You could do that. That's pretty satisfying. That's very satisfying. And yeah, so you can basically do that. That's pretty. That's my first go-to so if you're going to make any type of weird kind of shape that you want to do the extrusion tool favorite it in your bar that is probably the easiest instead of going searching for it on the all folder please do this right now pause the video on your tinkercad account it will save you a lot of time and trust me you'll love it so next next what we're going to do is um using the whole tool in your basic shapes to make um, cool shapes. So let's just say I wanted a half sphere. So I'm just going to make this half sphere it's a bit bigger. Okay, so I have a half sphere here. Let me get a hole, cylinder hole. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to grab out my work plane. I'm going to put it on the top of this. Just like that, so it's neat enough on the top. You can see that comes up to there, like that. If you have any, I've mentioned the work plan in my uh, basic tools video. If you haven't already, click up on the right top right hand corner now, so you can see the um, video. Really helpful. I'm just going to drag this across here. Quick alignment. We can snap it like that. Drag my work plane back out again. So now it's got now it's got this. Uh, what I want to do is I want to drag it down underneath here like this, and then I'll drag our box like that. I'll center that there too, like that. Now I'll see what this does. That boom, a complex shape. 
right here. So if you're wondering, or if you want to make like a like a really hard thing to do, you're wondering, oh, what do I do? Um, have a play around with your cylinders and your boxes, and obviously you can literally hold anything else you want to do. So it's literally endless opportunities. So I highly recommend you use those tools. So now for the final suggestion that I have for you today is um, scribble. Uh, probably not the neatest or the best, but you can definitely bring out some pretty cool designs. So what you do is you grab the squiggle, uh, squiggle, I think it's called, cool. yeah, scribble, and it brings up to the screen. So what it does, what you can do is you can grab a, grab your scribble and you can make any shape you want. Now, if I want to make a uh, camera stand or GoPro, I will just make something like this there. Do this here like that, connect that up there, this is just a rough sketch design, like that, now you can do this, like that, oh, undo, undo, okay, so like that, once you're done, just press done, and you can make this and it just comes into 3D in here. So if you, it's as you can see, it's not the neatest, but you can definitely make cool shapes and nooks, anything that you really want. So for example, just write, I'll just write my channel name. So if I do this, and then I can write M in here, and then really neatly right this down here it's probably not the neatest but it's you can definitely make some pretty cool things in here so that is all i have for you today guys if you're wondering how you have that yet drop a comment tell me i'd really love to hear it um uh, complex shapes they're really complex Thing. Um, yeah. Anyway guys, please leave a like on this video, subscribe, um, if you're new to this channel, I post videos every week on uh, Tinkercad, 3D printing, design, EV3, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!